than what we did last week um, with uh, just introductions, um, with our meeting the parents segment. Um, last week we did Gerald. This week we've got James. Um, the rules are pretty simple. It's just 10 short answer questions. Most of them are one word to two word answers. Just the first thing that comes to mind. Um, so first up, we have, who is your favorite Celtic of all time? Favorite Celtic of all time. I, a lot of people are going to be shocked by this because most people's thing is Bird. With me, it's always been Paul Pierce. Like, Pierce has always been my guy. I tried to master that fadeaway, even though I sucked at it for a long time. But, yeah, I've always been a Paul Pierce ride or die guy. Who is one player you wish could have played for the Patriots? Eric Decker. He always seemed like the perfect sort of slot wide receiver guy that Brady would have clicked with off the bat. So it's got to be Decker. If you could go back and change the result of any sporting event, what would it be? I mean, just one defensive play in that 2007, 2008 run. Like, I, I don't care which one it is. Just shoot, pick it. It, it could be the sack that Eli should have went down on. It should be the fact the throw never should have got there. Should have been the fact that it should have been batted out of the air instead of trying to tackle the dude. Or maybe just Mario Manny, David Tyree just doing what he does in every game before that. Just dropping the ball. Like, whatever it is. Just that play. <laughs> that entire play. If you could get any athlete to write a tell-all book, who would it be? Hmm. You know, call it recency bias. I kind of want to see a Mark L. Fultz tell-all book at the moment because I feel like with a lot of the injury he's been going through, and especially now with the ACL tear, which might set him back again, or I forgot what his injury is, but I know he's out for the season. But I think with, you know, being the number one draft pick, somebody trading down to get you, and then all the Philly pressure that was riding on him, then being traded to Orlando, and now this is happening, and they drafted a point guard in the draft. Like, I just think – that would be an interesting story to really develop on, on once he retires. Who is your favorite college basketball player of all time? Mm. Go. Oof. I guess uh, I'll go Christian Leitner. I don't know why that always stuck out to me. <laughs> James laughing at me for that one. <laughs> If you could have any coach replace Bill Belichick after he retires, who would it be? I don't want McDaniels. Uh, Luff, who would it be? Ah, uh, uh, crud. <laughs> uh, you know what? Why not? Brian Flores coming back to New England. Seemed like it would fit. Would you rather attend the Olympics or the World Cup? Oh, Olympics. I'm not a soccer guy, so. If you could host any sports show, what would it be? Mm. Pardon the interruption. If you could ask. <laughs> <laughs> if you could ask, that job may be open <laughs> sometime soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you could ask Paul Pierce anything, what would you ask him? You call back. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, describe Howard University in one word. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> we never <laughs> We didn't do the Hoosiers thing. And now he's talking about somebody. Oh, uh, man. You, uh, boy. Moving to. 